Hello, everyone. My name is Greg Bem, and I am a librarian at Spokane Community College. And in today's video, I'm going to be providing an overview of Adobe Express, which is the free browser based Adobe platform for doing various types of design and visual content and material and asset generation and creation. Adobe Express is very similar to Canva, another platform that may look very similar to Adobe Express. If you've used Canva, you probably will find it very familiar. When you first create an account with Adobe Express, which um, you can do with any email address, it's going to ask you a variety of questions about setting up your account and asking you why you want to use it, what your intentions are. And once you get through all of that, you will be taken to the main screen, which is this screen here. And it's a relatively overwhelming compared to some uh, platforms that are similar. And not all of this is AI powered. So I do want to mention that as well. But I'm going to provide an overview of this nonetheless. Um, the top of the bar allows you to search any type of content or template or um, style uh, of asset or pool that's available here. So you can search for anything here. If you click on the drop down, um, these are the variety of things that it's searching for, files, projects, and so on. Um, I believe you can also search for your own materials as well. Um, your account information is in the upper right. There's also the ability to create a premium account for, for a certain fee and start a trial and all those types of things. Um, beneath that, as it says, you know, whatever you want to make, you can, you can do here um, for free. Uh, there are a variety of options, like starting points, if you will, that you can choose. And we will dive into generative AI mostly after I'm done exploring this homepage. Uh, underneath Get Started, you can uh, upload files that you've created previously or even other types of types of files like photos and video. You can also choose templates based on the type of file, so infographics and presentations and so on. There are specific tools that could be useful when it comes to design. Uh, resizing and cropping images, removing backgrounds, converting files to PDF. This really is kind of a tool belt or a one-stop shop from Adobe that's offering a lot of really nice and uh, heavily or more, more frequently used activities to be done in one place. Um, if you scroll down, you'll continue to get access to the various types of functionality, uh, generative AI tools, and um, scheduling for social media, and then browsing templates. This is where it's a little bit much, in my opinion, but it does have a lot of templates listed here. And I believe that's an endless scroll bar. Um, and then at the very bottom, you'll see recent files including this lighthouse image that I'll take a look at in a minute. On the left-hand side of the screen, you'll have a plus if you want to create a new file, home, your stuff, stuff that you've created, uh, and then a variety of other options. Um, brands, which is a plus feature, templates, schedule, learn, so kind of a learning center, and then add-ons, uh, which is similar to the GPTs in chat GBT, but a little bit different. It allows you to integrate with other tools and services, which goes beyond the scope of this video, but might be worth taking a look at if you like to use other services when you're doing creative work. If I click on this image that I created previously, this was a generated, generated image, and clicking on it will show me this screen, which allows me to look at the image that I created. If I click on it, I get a bunch of different types of editing functionality and morphing or mutation functionality. 
And there's also, you know, a lot of other types of, of tools that are spread throughout the interface. And this is similar to using a product like Adobe Photoshop, except the interface is completely different and browser-based. So to go through every one of these tools would take a long time. I invite you, if you're using this platform, to explore and see what you can do to see the full extent of uh, Adobe Express. One thing I will show you now, however, is the Generative AI tab. If I click on Generative AI from the home screen, it'll take me to all of the basic functions that Generative AI can do. There are four of them. One is text to image. One is generative fill, which requires an image to fill. And you can see some examples of what it can do to fill the image here. Uh, text to template, so generate editable templates from a description. So that's if you can't find a template you want, but you want a template to fill in, you can do that. And then text effects. So apply styles or textures to text with a text prompt. And you can see examples of that various types of text that have been created using generative AI. Just for this video, I'm going to do the most accessible tool or functionality right now, which is text to image. So let's do an example here. How about a Wild West castle that is uh, covered in smoke during a wildfire. Let's see what it does with that prompt. So when you click on that, this is going to go back to a similar page that we saw earlier with the lighthouse. And similar to using any other Gen AI image tool, it is not immediate, it's not automatic, it takes a little bit of time to generate. But here we go, that took seemingly 15 seconds or so. And we have our image of the castle in the in the west and um the smoke and the fire billowing out um i did see several other examples but i clicked off them so i don't know where they went um but i suppose when you create the image from scratch you do have the ability to see alternative um alternative images uh based on the prompt. Um, I'm not sure if you can get back to those. You very well might be able to, and I'm just not seeing the tool or button at the moment. In any case, once you have your image, you can edit it as I was describing. Um, one thing to note is that you can download these images. Um, and when you do, you have the ability to download in a variety of formats, including PNG, JPEG and PDF. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, you can also share, you can print, and so on and so forth. That is the end of this basic overview of Adobe Express. And I hope that you found it enjoyable. If you have any questions, reach out to the Spokane Community College Librarians. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.